state leaders about this because so many of you have been reaching out to KOAT asking for help. The only time that, that we go to the store is when we need something and it hurts to go to the store. It, it hurts. Bob Bass is a disabled Vietnam veteran who lives in Farmington. Like so many New Mexicans, he has had to wait in these very long lines to get groceries and other supplies, even in the freezing cold. It's been definitely a challenge. Uh, you know, they have, they have uh, senior hours at these stores and they're usually very, very early in the morning and it's cold and you get all the seniors going early in the morning, there's still long lines. Bob uses a walker. He says even with some restrictions lifted, he still sees so many of the elderly and disabled waiting, worrying and suffering. I've seen people in line uh, in wheelchairs, uh, in the same shape as me on a walker. And you know, it's, it's, it's very disheartening that these stores have not made any accommodations uh, you know, for the handicapped, you know, dur during this pandemic. Bob also says he's tried ordering items ahead of time and picking them up, but says it can take days for those orders to get filled. For a lot of the elderly and disabled, they can't wait days for basic supplies. And I'm not talking about this only for myself. I'm talking about it for all the other people that have experienced the same thing that I have. I did reach out to the governor's office to see what she had to say about this. I'll have that report coming up at 6. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. All right, Nancy, thank you. Nancy also spoke to the doctor who was just appointed to head the state's health department and asked her about the elderly and disabled waiting in long lines in the cold. She'll have more on that coming up at 6.